Garen, uh, reports now of Alistair Kutsia finally uh, getting the sack uh, in December, well, I guess after yeah. this, uh, uh, after these internationals. What, uh, what's the latest there? What, wh how much can we read into that? Look how I mean, much truth is there behind them? Yeah, you know, I, I can certainly believe that, you know, to be quite honest, apparently there were reports that Mark Alexander and Alistair Kutsia had a bit of a falling out after this match. Mm. You know, it wouldn't make sense to sack him before the French test this mm -hmm. weekend or even the Italy one or the Wales one after that. But certainly the, a line has to be drawn in the sand. And if you're going to get rid of your coach, you know, the end of 2017 makes perfect sense. It's still two years away for whoever mm -hmm. comes in to prepare for the next Rugby mm -hmm. World Cup. If it had to happen at some point during 2018, it would only leave one year, so it wouldn't be fair on the, whoever came in. Kutsia's current um, record reads 22 tests played, 9 wins, 11 defeats and 2 draws. That, that 9 wins out of 22 gives him a 41% mm. win ratio, which is actually the worst ratio by any of the six South African coaches to have coached 22 tests or more, if that makes sense. Okay. So he's certainly the worst of what we've had. You know, we think back to Peter de Villiers, you know, how much uh, uh, of a hard time we gave him. He was in the 60s, I think. Mm. You know, 41 is a far, and he far cry. Absolutely, yeah. far, far cry from 60%. From so, you know, Alice could say, even if he wins these next three games, which I don't see him actually doing, I, you know, France will start as favourites for sure this weekend. We might be favourites to beat Italy, but we all know what happened um, last year. And then that Wales um, test is a bit of an interesting one because we, both teams will have players out mm. because it falls outside the international yeah. test window so it's difficult to predict actually what happens there but certainly you know we even if we win these three matches somehow by hook or by crook we, it, it's not going to readdress the, the problems that we've had all those record defeats first time mm. defeats to Ireland the highest score we've ever conceded against Ireland first time to lose against Argentina in Argentina you know as the the fourth ranked team currently in the world we actually should believe we should be higher than that we should never ever be losing to these teams you know we, i think we've won <coughs> one out of ten matches under alice Kutsi away from home it's just you know it's, it's it's a frightening record that he's got and you know and it certainly doesn't look like it's going to get any better you know there's nothing to suggest that we're going to go into paris next weekend and mm -hmm. beat the french who actually in the second half against the all blacks were leading 13 0 if you like the second half until the last m move of the game with all blacks scored but they did outscore the all blacks in the second half and mm -hmm. if they play anything like they did in the second half there's absolutely no way yeah. the spring team will, will beat them you know it's probably going to be an ugly victory but they've got they more than happy to pick their their rookie halfback pairing and they you know they stood up and they knew they, they got the job done and the french crowd was certainly behind their their team and that's going to happen again and then obviously this this decision in midweek of who's going to host the 2023 yeah. rugby world cup if france lose out to south africa can you imagine the fallout that's going to have on on saturday you know it'll be a dangerous place i think for the south africans to be in in paris so you know there's lots to still you know mm. play out this this week in particular but i don't see how it gets better for us i don't mm. know how he turns it around in in what's now if what's only five days away so mm. yeah good luck to him well uh, on that note uh, rob i wanted to to ask the 2023 world cup but just a uh, last question. Um, so that's something, to, uh, I guess, potentially positive um, to, <laughs> to look forward to on the rugby front. Um, how much do, you know, after this, this result on the weekend, how much uh, would results and internal politics then sort of, what, what kind of bearing will that have on the vote in the sort of, you know, the, 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 the halls of world rugby? I think that the, the ducks are already in a row. I'll mm -hmm. be very surprised if, uh, you know, um, recent results, uh, which mm. really, w I suppose, would be a little bit, would be considered a little bit of a sort of a knee-jerk factor. I mean, we're talking mm. about an event that's a long way up the drag yeah. anyway. You would hope that Springbok Rugby will, will somehow reinvent itself. We are supposedly still uh, one of the powerhouses of world rugby, uh, although you wouldn't necessarily believe it, uh, you know, over the last couple of mm. years. But, um, you know, I, I don't think that would come into effect, if anything. Uh, uh, our current crisis almost sort of serves as a reminder that it would be very good for, for South African rugby and, and probably therefore for world rugby mm. uh, if, if the event is staged in, in South Africa because it'll, it'll be a, a tonic, a sort of a fillip that, that is desperately needed. Um, you know, the, the once mighty Springboks uh, do need some sort of incentive mm. for young players especially uh, to sort of want to come through the ranks, to yeah. want to be sort of competing for, for spots in that 2023 team. I mean, obviously we've got one before that anyway, but there's still plenty of time for, yeah. for South Africa to organise properly. Uh, we know we've got magnificent infrastructure infrastructure. Mm. Um, I don't think there's too much economic risk uh, involved in, in staging uh, the World Cup in South Africa. Our fans uh, will be passionate for a World Cup. We, our, our sports fans always are passionate for a major rugby or cricket event. We've seen with World Cup 
2010, the, the football. I mm. mean, tremendous success. So um, I think that uh, World Rugby um, will be comfortable with their decision, assuming that South Africa get it. I mean, mm. it will be a real curveball if from now, after we've been the sort of, uh, you know, preferred, um, uh, you know, recommended host, mm. uh, if it goes any other way. Um, although, you know, you, you can't count your chickens. But uh, I'm still pretty uh, confident we'll get it. And I, and I still think it's a, it, it would be a good call.